Hi, this is Jesse Luna with jessiluna.com and today we're going to review how to add Google Analytics to your WordPress.org custom blog install. Here we are on the Brain Droppings blog, a kind of fun little blog that I have, and I want to add Google Analytics to it. First thing I need to do is to go to Google Analytics and I already have an account so I can just log into my uh, main dashboard here. I have a couple of sites set up already. I now, now go uh, below the grid there and click on Add Website Profile. I want to keep Add a Profile for a new domain selected. I now want to add the URL that I'm going to be tracking. In this case, it's a custom, sorry, it's a subdomain from a domain. Um, I leave the AdWords information alone and I'm ready to finish. Bunk. We see the tracking status information at the top. This is a key code that distinguishes this new uh, tracking code and as you can see here it says that it's not installed yet and we haven't installed it yet so we go down we copy the code this JavaScript code I copy that and we scroll down and we're ready to save and finish okay so we can go back to the blog now I'm clicking back and Now I'm going to the WordPress dashboard page and I'm logged in there. First thing I want to do is go to the left side of the page and click on Appearance. So I clicked on that. Now I go to the Widgets also under the Appearance section. And here we have the Widgets view and we have our sidebar. What I want to do now is take a text widget click, drag, and drop that all the way to the bottom. That's kind of important. Now I'm ready to paste in the code. I said it's important because you want this code to be the last code on the page that's executed. So you want to put it as far down on the sidebar as possible. Don't stick it all the way at the top. The other tip is don't put in a title because you don't want it to actually show some text there when you're when this uh, JavaScript doesn't actually show anything there. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the with the with the title on there and nothing below it. Now we're ready to save this. It's saved. We can close. So we're actually all set. I'm going to go to and do a v, uh, visit the site. So here we are. Notice nothing shows up on the widget sidebar. Okay, if we had put a title in there, it show it would it would be showing up just like Brain Cloud. Now I'm going to do a view page source. And this sounds like a kind of a silly extra thing to do but as you go down to the page you should be able to see your code if I can find it and here it is you see this is the Google code that we tracked in and there's our tracking uh, little ID that we saw on the page. So now we're sure that we saved it in there. Uh, if we go back to Google Analytics in a little while after things kinda get uh, settled in we should be able to see some of our analytics show up for our page and hopefully we get tons of visitors. Well that's the end. Thanks for uh, stopping by. This is Jesse Luna at jessiluna.com